is this where you used to play? Yeah, man. This is we used to do football tryouts here. Uh, <laughs> it's so surreal being back. Shut this. Um, yeah, it's like it's so weird because I was little when I was here, so it feels um, like so much smaller than I remember. Ah, uh, um, yes. Well, back when I was, you know, five three, running around trying to be on the football team. This is this is everything. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you came to the part with some real experience, though. Yeah, yeah. It took me a while, though. I failed the first tryouts, and then I Did came you? back stronger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I had to play basketball for a little bit. And the basketball team was just like made up of all the kids that couldn't be on the football team. And then, um, what, yeah, what, what, I had my redemption story, and I came back. What position did you play basketball? I think, I'd, honestly, it just got to a point where it was like, just, just run around and dribble the ball, you know? Uh, how old were you when you made the, when you made the team? Oh, man. Um, probably like. 13, 14, yeah. you know, we used to like run around, um, play football after school, and then, um, and then we'd have tournaments. We didn't win a lot of them, but um, we did win this like one five aside tournament. Yeah. And we went and we won that. And that's the only thing we won. And um, I remember I'd, I went crazy and I used to wear my medal to school every single day for like <laughs> <laughs> the next two weeks. Um, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Were you a good soccer player? I, w I got better. I got better. Like what I lacked in. Um, actual skill and talent I yeah. made up for in, in hard work yeah. and, and running. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Good enough to pull it off on the screen. Oh yeah, definitely. But then I also got, I got better as I got older. So yeah. um, by the time it came time to do Ted Lasso, I was um, a, a supernatural talent. That's not what I say. That's what other people say about me. I'm sure if you ask the other classmates, they'd, they'd, uh, yeah, they'd use those words specifically. Supernatural talent. <laughs> supernatural talent. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to flop now because I'm on camera. But, uh, ew. Ew. <laughs> This was your stage? This was my stage. I did all of, all of my rehearsals here, I did all of my performances here. Like, I lived in this room. This was like the birthplace of, of like, me wanting to be a performer, me wanting to be an actor. This was my safe haven. This is one of my teachers. Hello. Martin Blakelock. Um, this is the Hi. man I used to force. I used to like sit you down over here and just like yell Shakespeare at you. I remember you did up there. Yeah. You did uh, Caesar. Caesar. Mark Anthony. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friends, Romans, countrymen, that was lend me the, your ears. That was one of the moments I thought, okay, we've got a chance here. <laughs> <laughs> chance. He yeah. says you changed his life. That's very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Do you remember that time that like, you pulled me into your office and, and like you sat me down and you were like, I think you can, you can like, um, I think you can be an actor. An actor, yeah. Like, bro, that, that meant a lot to me. Hello. Oh my god, I always cry when I'm on this stage <laughs> room. <laughs> Genuinely, um, it had a really like profound impact on me and, and like I owe so much of what I am doing now to you and, and I'm like just I can't thank you enough because right? you didn't have to. Like you went above and beyond for me. You were and um, <laughs> yeah, appreciate you. I always stop crying now, but <laughs> what did you see in him? Do you know what? It's easy and it's hard to say at the same time because I think you see the talent and then it's, we always say to them, then the hard work comes and he had plenty of that as well. Yeah. So, you know, not, not always the best behaved <laughs> at all points throughout his school journey. You spent a lot of time in this room. I did. I did. Like, even just being here now, a lot of memories are coming back. Yeah. It's crazy, yeah. And once I decided, like, I wanted to be an actor and, like, I'd found that, I just spent all of my time here. How was drama school? Oh man, drama school was, it was really cool. It was really dope. It was what I wanted. I wanted to be in a position where yeah. I could act every day and do nothing but act every single day. Yeah. Um, and I got to do that. I made some of the best friends yeah. that, you know, um, that's some like, people who will be in my life for, for hopefully a very long time. Yeah. But, um, but it also had its challenges, you know. Um, I was coming from inner city, South London, to the Barbican Estate yeah. where Everybody, you know, earns more and is upper middle class probably and, and you know, speaks with a different accent. And, yeah. and it was just a complete culture shock for me. And at that time, like, drama schools hadn't really, they didn't really have the best track record with um, accommodating black students. And, yeah. and so that was, that was tough. I was like one of four, I think, out of uh, wow. like 26, you know, yeah. and that's just in my year, the rest of the year. Uh, it was just, yeah, it had its challenges. Um, what but, was the most challenging part for you? Um, I think that, I think f like really feeling like I belonged there. Because um, yeah. I made the switch to decide to be an actor really late. I yeah. was about to go to university and then suddenly I decided I wanted to do this thing. I didn't know anybody who was an actor. Yeah. Uh, and so like I didn't have a, I didn't have like a, a famous uncle. I mean, some level that must have been scary bo on both counts. What do you mean? That you don't, one, that you, you just suddenly made the decision to be an actor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And two, you end up in a school where you don't see a lot of people who look like you. Yeah. So you're like, 
Am I in the right place? Yeah, it's crazy. But I think underneath all of that was this thing that I really enjoy doing. My whole life has kind of been about like where I fit in. I kind of felt like I fell in between being a British kid and being a Nigerian kid and never really felt like a part of either club. And I feel like really recently, through all of these other like amazing artists that I look up to, yeah. um, especially like in pop culture, like being a black Brit is kind of solidified in my mind as its own thing. Mm -hmm. And like that's kind of where I feel at home a bit, mm -hmm. you know, like I like you see Daniel Kaluuya doing stuff and I go, all right, cool, I see myself in that. Like I see yeah. Stormzy doing stuff or Dave doing stuff and I go, yeah. I see myself in these people. And um, yeah, like I, especially at a time when I was at drama school where I felt like I was like being pulled in between like two different places and I didn't really know where to center myself in, in this country. Like being a black Brit became like my saving grace. So your first memories are in Nigeria. Yeah, my first accent was a Nigerian accent. Yeah. and. Um, so yeah, again, like it's really dope because I get to play two Nigerian characters in Sam and Tunde um, in what is actually my like first voice, you know? So I always find it really weird how now my career has yeah. taken me back to yeah. the thing that I kind of like got rid of to, to fit in, you know? Yeah, must have made your parents proud though. Yeah, yeah, I think so. My dad's the, like one of the most stoic people ever. So like, yeah. I could do anything. I could win 14 Oscars tomorrow and he'd just be like, good. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. Yeah, my mum always had an idea that I was going to be the UK's first black prime minister. Um, maybe I'll play him one day. <laughs> but that's that's not going to happen. I'm curious when when you first when you first read the Ted Lasso script, mm -hmm. did you think people would would embrace it? I don't think any of us went into it thinking it would be what it is now. But right. what we made, I thought, was really special. And then it came out, and people got hold of it, and it just like became this whole other thing. And I think we were, yeah, we were just rode the wave a little. Yeah, what's riding that wave been like? Um, nuts, like it's been crazy, um, but in a good way, you yeah. know, like all of our lives have changed. Did you know the romance was coming in season two? No. no you did No, no, nobody told me about that. <laughs> <laughs> we were reading the script and I was like, I see. <laughs> um, it was, uh, yeah, it was, um, it was a bit of a shock. Um, I remember Jason saying something along the lines of, oh, like, you know, we're gonna like explore like a romance for Sam, but I didn't think it was gonna be that. Like fans used to message me and be like, w w uh, after the locker room scene where Sam tries to get her to come and do the, the ritual, um, get rid of the ghost scene. Yes. Um, and, and they were like, oh, like, is there anything romantic or is it just platonic? And I was like, oh no, it's platonic, what the hell? Like, that, that never happened. <laughs> and, um, but like, I think what they hit on was that there is a connection between those two characters. Yeah. And you two were friends off screen as well. Oh, me and Hannah, yeah, yeah, she's, she's dope. She's a rock star, that woman. Um, yeah. And I think that's why I also felt really comfortable about it. It's cause, yeah. you know, I just get to like hang out with a friend. So um, it was really yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, tell me about The Power. The Power. Um, the Power is a really special project for me. It's a, like a, global <laughs> thriller um, set in this world where like women and um, young girls especially uh, develop the ability to release and generate electricity through their hands. Um, so ultimately they become like physically the superior gender almost overnight. You play a journalist who discovers this. Yes, I play Tunde who kind of unknowingly breaks the story and then before he knows it becomes a really significant mouthpiece for this, like for these new global events and yeah. um, and yeah, like he's, he's a really cool character. He's a Nigerian, he's an inspiring journalist. And yeah. I just, yeah, he ends up, I think, going on this like really transformative journey over the first season. The Tunde that you meet in episode one, the Tunde that you see in episode nine is a completely different person. Yeah. And, and I think I, that really drew me to it. Like I was really yeah. interested in like what that version of like masculinity or manhood looked like in, in this new world. And, and like going on this journey to help this young man find it. Yeah. You know? In the first episode, you literally get a shock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's a really mind boggling thing. Like it poses these really dope questions about yeah. power and, and you know, who has it, who doesn't. Yeah, it poses really interesting questions about the power dynamics between men and women. Yeah. Yeah, but also like, I, I guess what's really interesting about the power is that I get to like chart my own journey as an actor through it. Because like, I, I know what was yeah. pre-pandemic, what was post-pandemic and- uh, And what do you see when you see um, that? I just, I feel more um, comfortable I, I'm not sure, I don't know if people will like notice a difference. Yeah. Um, but you see one. I think I just know what I was thinking when I was shooting, you know? Yeah. And um, with Ted Lasso and The Power, I got like a really awesome opportunity to just like grow and develop and figure out what I wanted to do. And, yeah. and, um, and I can, yeah, I can see the cogs turning a bit, a bit mm -hmm. more. Um, 
Yeah, it's and just, you and do you like what you see? Yeah, yeah, I think it's really good. Yeah. Um, can you imagine if I didn't? I was like, oh my god, I was so much better back then. Damn. <laughs> no, um, I, yeah, I really enjoy it. Like, I, I see myself maturing in a similar way to how my character's growing up in the show. Yeah. I see myself yeah. growing up in the show. Yeah. And um, and yeah, like so, just because of the pandemic and stuff, like I, I get a really awesome opportunity to chart that growth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that must be satisfying. It really is. Yeah. I can't wait for people to see it. Yeah. I can't wait to share it with people now, man. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a fun one.